All right. Well, since we can't do anything with the piano, let's try. Yeah, let's let's go try putting this in the clock and see if we have to do that first. First floor, back out to the courtyard. Which is not the corner that I'm running into. Oh man, there's so many of those out here. Yeah, put the thing in there. I heard something. No, open up. Tower door is locked. But the hands are stopped at twelve. Okay, so twelve o'clock. That was the that was the time for the music room thing, right? Come on. Ah. up. Try this again. So in, in case you obviously uh, this is the first major puzzle of the game. Uh, you know those those uh, little cryptic notes written, relate to what we have to do and of course it all relates to the clock tower. If I would have looked at the clock before it would have said uh, 10 o'clock saying that we had to go to the uh, alchemy lab and then of course uh, now they say 12 which is this and the piano's open and there's some bloody keys blood on some of the keys does this mean anything I'm sure it does check the piano okay so this obviously is going to relate to the birds in that uh, I guess poem that was on the blackboard over there because they're birds without a voice so we're going to be playing their voice, I guess. And they're all either black or white birds. So I actually wrote down earlier what it was. Um, I just cut it out, but it was first flew the greedy pelican eager for the reward, white wings flailing. And then, then came a silent dove flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove just to show that he can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally out comes a crow coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the... Okay. So... First flew the greedy pelican. So pelicans are white, so he's going to be one of these. Then came a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. That's also... Doves are white, yeah. Flying as far away as he could. So, you know, maybe across the whole set of lit-up keys that we're looking at. A raven flies in higher than the dove. Okay, so ravens are black. Higher than the dove is going to be higher. Okay. Well, I'm not really musically inclined, but I at least know that th going, you know, up this way on the piano, higher notes, right? So, the raven's going to be higher, higher than a dove. The dove can only at least be this one. So we know it's not this one. Okay, so we know that this is not the dove. Um, and the raven's going to be a black key higher than the white one that was the dove. 
The swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Hmm. Okay, well, peaceful. Doves, doves are peaceful. Doves symbol of peace. Maybe that's what they're talking about. So the swan will be next to wherever the dove is. They're both white. Finally comes a crow coming quickly to a stop. That doesn't really help me. Um, Alright, so let's try... First flew the greedy pelican. Okay. Then came a silent dove. So we'll do this one. Ah, okay. So that one clicked. So I'm guessing that meant our first one's wrong here. Okay, I probably have to start over now. Yeah, blood on some of the keys. So that one was wrong. Try this one. All right, we got a click. This was the dove. Got the raven. And now we have the swan. So this was the dove, so one of these has got to be the swan. All right. Sweet. Luck. Luck actually helped me out that time. And finally comes a crow. Coming quickly to a stop. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. Quickly to a stop. Would it be like that one? All right. Sweet. I, I just guessed because it was stop at the end. I don't know. All right. There's our silver piece. We can go put this in the clock now. Which I think before I'm going to do that, I'm going to save down the stairs in the infirmary again. So I'll go ahead and run back down there. He's here before. Ah. Get off, get off, get off. I'm just doing terrible at keeping my health up. Alright, I'm okay for now. Well, I only got one first aid kit and two health drinks left, though. Great. I'm gonna save it over a different one just in case my terrible uh, health management is going to be an issue here. I might have to go back and replay that. We'll see. Uh, crap. Crap. I'm hitting both of them, looks like. I'm not going to step on them because I just want to get out of the courtyard. <laughs> Put a little silver piece in. Oh, that's right, I have to use it. He's not smart enough to just, you know, put it in. Alright. Now what? Now I get owned by another thing. Sweet. Tense music here. Yeah, so double tapping X gives you that faster side to side attack. Stopped at 5 o'clock. Okay. So that was our final piece of the puzzle. Which, if you remember, says I'm about um, choking heat. So we want to go down to the basement again, to the boiler. So I bet that's what it's talking about. Choking heat. Go 
going around the hallway because the other door is locked. And that one didn't even seem interested in me. Hmm. Alright. Boiler. Now we can probably push the button. Yeah. Looks like it's lit up. Push it. Yes. Got some green lights flashing. That's, that's good. That didn't sound good, though. Check the clock again, because <laughs> that's what's been controlling us, essentially. Guiding us all around. Go back and check the clock. Can I get out there this way? Yes. If I unlock it. There we go. I'm going to save it again. Just because. Got that feeling, you know. And not the, the good kind, like the Black Eyed Peas likes to sing about. The bad kind bad kind of me getting attacked by more crazy children thing. Alright, that's not gonna work. Let's try and reset their position. <laughs> hey, that kinda worked. Oh, nah, I'll just run right into him anyways. And I died. See? See, that's why I saved. Right there. Yep. Although I probably shouldn't have died in the first place, but uh, hmm. L1 and R1 simultaneously turn around quickly. Good to know. I didn't know that. Like I said before, I don't care about dying. So, and at least since I saved it, we won't have to go back and do anything that we already did. So. How'd you like that dodge? What does this say now? Now it opens. And... I guess we're climbing down this ladder. Uh-oh. I'm hearing the siren again. You hear that? That can't be good. Are those health drinks? Oh, dang it! I thought that was like a bunch of health drinks on the ground. I was really excited. I thought it felt bad for me, you know. Climb back up. Okay. Where am I? Looks like I'm in the same place. Have I been here before? Dude, you have a worse memory than me. Whoa. Hmm. That wasn't there before. I don't remember this being here before. See? That's very frightening. Let me get out of here. <laughs> Locked. Great. Um, just gotta try the other door. Whoa! This looks completely different. So I guess we are now in the other world version of the school. Which of course, metal grating on the floors, walls, blood everywhere, fans. Fans seem to be a popular theme for the other world. Not sure what that's about. What a first aid kit though. Those things are still here. Great. Ooh, and we have a new enemy. So they aren't too difficult. I like these guys. Um, is that 
creepy percussion music or something I need to be worried about. Um, yeah, so I just looked up real quick what those were. Those are uh, called creepers, and they're actually present in uh, various Silent Hill games. This being uh, one of the easier ones, I guess, where they are to fight. So, which I could use, you know, every advantage here. So, ah, ah, you serious? Did I forget to heal last time? Crap. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just redo that whole. Uh, Yeah, I guess it's not that far. Oh, okay. Well, that's just going to put me here anyways. Alright. Get our first aid kit again. And bullets. I'll actually use the first aid kit this time. open and very what are those on the wall there what do you have to say about it Henry a headless doll is stuck to the wall that's great rubber ball that seems surprisingly innocent <laughs> for this creepy other world version of the school oh yeah that one is locked um Let's go to the hall, I guess. Crap. <sighs> oh wait, no, that was just those creepers in there. Mm, looks like I don't have a choice though. Ooh, I just barely dodged that. Did you see that? Barely dodged the attack. Alright. So deal with these creepers again. So I can probably... There's a door. There we go. Go in this one. Ooh, a bloody locker. Guess you don't want to open it? Very... Playing cards. Hmm. Alright, well... Let's go ahead and play some solitaire now. Silent Hill's too scary, guys. No. I'm just kidding. Cards are scattered. Why does that one look yellow? Take it. Picture card. Let's look at that and see what it is. And our ball. Fluorescent pink rubber ball used by children. Alright. A rectangular card with a picture of a key. Found on a desk in the classroom. Uh, alright. Let's see, can we go through here? We can, but there's a giant fence. Okay. We'll go ahead and unlock that just in case later I need to go through there so I don't end up trapping myself. That's a kind of important thing to do that I've been messing up on. Great. I love it when I rent her a room and hear like four of those things. Is there anything in here? Looks like just enemies. I'm just leaving. So I guess I shouldn't be that surprised since it's a school that there, you know, are tons of the gray children 
locked. Oh, so that actually is like a door. Okay, I wasn't crazy. Well, that's debatable, I guess, but we won't go there. Hey, we're back in the infirmary, but it's the messed up version. Otherworld version, to be technical. First aid kit. I'm glad they're catering to my terrible ability to combat enemies. Health drink. Mmm. Tasty. And we'll go ahead and save it. Um. Yeah. Alright. Let's avoid all you guys. Maybe. Locked. Crap. Get off. Get off. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. What happens if we go out the front? Ah, come on. Ah, oh, they're all over the place. Another wheelchair. Ooh. There's an ampoule. Amp? Ampoule? Am I saying that right? I don't know. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm saying it wrong. Leave it to the internet. Alright. That's right, you don't, you don't come mess with me. Unlock that. Aha, uh -huh, you missed. Ooh, what the hell is that? It's like a person strung up. Some bullets. Uh, <laughs> it's one way to display a couch, I guess. I don't have a lot of my furniture hanging by barbed wire, but I could be behind on this whole decorating thing. That looks a lot like that card we picked up. Is this a door? Even if it is, there's no keyhole or even a knob. If I push it, it moves a bit, but it certainly won't open. What's this? The center of the door is a horizontal slot. Uh, I bet it's for that card we picked up. Ooh, my health's low. Use that. Open this door up. Okay. So now that I have to, now that we're in the other world, we have to check all these rooms again because, as you can tell, they're completely different. Different items, stuff like that. That's one bloody sink. I don't think I can go into any of these still, though. Doesn't hurt to check. Well. Ooh, excuse me. That is, of course, unless there's enemies in there and they hurt me. That, that I guess, would nullify that statement. What do we got here? Handgun bullets. Sweet. What is this? Ooh. Shotgun shells. I want a shotgun. Dang it. Typical game teasing me by giving me the uh, the ammo before the weapon. Hmm. All right. So there's a fence there. This is so confusing. We're on the second floor. remember going up to the second floor. What the heck? How did I get here? <laughs> I am so confused. Huh. Interesting. Did you see that? So this is like... This restroom is like a portal between the floors. Because now we're back on the first, and I just walked through that door. Alright. Glad thing I got so... Good thing I got so confused. And, uh... 
Can we open this? What is it? Oh, jeez. That's creepy. Ooh. That looks like a shotgun. Yes. Nice sawed off side by side. Or double barrel. Hanging body. Does this say something? Leonard Rhine, the monster lurks. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Probably means something about a monster lurking. Just gonna, just gonna throw that out there. Hmm. That's why I keep checking these rooms. Uh, I saw that. I saw that shit silhouette of them coming after me. I gotta get more health items. I know the, the amount I have is not gonna be sufficient. Now that we have a shotgun though, I feel better about using my pistol, so... Or handgun, whatever. Holds six rounds? How does a double barrel hold six rounds? I guess I'm not gonna question it, but... Well, I mean... Question it, but never mind. Phones. Room of phones. I hate phones, they're so creepy. Daddy, help me. Daddy, where are you? Cheryl! Ah! She hung up on me. That bitch. Alright, though, that is, that is really creepy, though. I'm just, you know, they always use phones like that in uh, horror movies. Have you ever noticed that? Have a phone ringing or the scream and stuff like that. They always, you know, must be something in our psyche that makes us really afraid of phones. It's the dreaded call with like a mother-in-law or something. I'm not actually even married. Never mind. I guess I can't talk about that. Let's go in here. Dang it! I even have the gun out and everything. And bullets. Dang it! Come on. Like, these guys are really pissing me off now. And and killing me again. Great. Awesome. Cut down the number of times you're surrounded by enemies. <sighs> Alright, well, you know, I'll try with the flashlight off. I can't guarantee it'll be that helpful. Oh, that put me all the way back here. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get back with you guys once I've uh, gotten back to where we were. And I, uh... Sorry about that, but, uh... I just am too terrible at this. <laughs> so I will see you guys in a bit.